Okay, getting my screen set up here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class here. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. All right, Lolly, thank you so much. Hello, hello, mwah. Hello, everyone. I'm late. <laughs> A few hours. So um, normally, I start at 10, but now it's 1, so that's like 3 hours. So um, the reason I'm starting this late is because I had to have my physical. I had to go to the hospital to have a physical. They checked everything, and I'm okay, I think. <laughs> they checked, um, they took blood, they checked my urine, they checked my feces, they x-rayed my chest, they examined my stomach, they checked my eyes, they checked my ears, they checked my heart, did everything. So um, I had to do a physical, and so that's why I'm late today. So um, sorry about that. Oh well, that's the way life is. Yeah, you have to um, you have to do these these um, body checks, right? You have to do health checks to make sure you're good and um, you will live a long life. So I think I'm good and I think I will live a long life. All right, all right. Well, um, the green team's here. Thank you, green team. I see Tetsuro. I see Lolly. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so, so much. Lama, I see Lama. I saw um, Air Lady earlier. There's Ava, how are you doing? Ava, okay. All right, good time for Ava. I'm good to, that's good. All right, Saima is here. Hello, Saima. Good, good, good. Gosh is here. Hello, Gosh. Ahmed is here. Hello, Ahmed. Good to see everyone. Of course, I'm very happy to see everyone here with me. Well, you know what we do. We always, we always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. Let's have our toast for good luck. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up. I'm, of course, drinking hot coffee. I just made it. So, um, I'm going to toast with coffee, so let's have our toast. We will have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Yes, they support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Thank you. If you don't have a, um, a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast. We have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Now for our second toast. It's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah. Okay, 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 good, good. <laughs> Tessero, thank you. All right, well, um, today we're going to do four activities, okay? So we're not doing our five, we're doing four today. And we will also be here, I will be back tomorrow, okay? So whatever we don't do today, we will do tomorrow. That is Saturday, April 23rd. I will be here April 23rd for you. Okay, so... Um, we're going to start with form a sentence. This is a review from Tuesday. We did this on Tuesday, so we're going to do it again. We're going to review it and form a sentence. And this is um, adjective order. So we're going to do four. How many adjectives? One, two, three adjectives and a noun. Three adjectives. So we're doing opinion, size, color, and then the thing, the noun, right? So adjectives describe a noun so we're going to use three adjectives to describe the noun okay so let's go ahead and write it on the board this is our first activity so i'm going to write number one and it's form a sentence and our sentence is i said opinion didn't i yeah i have it written down opinion 
So how you feel about something, right? So it's your opinion. It's my opinion. I think this way. I feel um, about it this way. I think it's like this. I feel like this about that. <laughs> it's my opinion. It's, it's what I think about something. It's what you think about something, right? It's your opinion, all right? Opinion, size, right? Is it large? Is it small? Is it um, long? Is it short, right? What's the size, color? What color is it? Is it blue? Is it green? Is it purple? Is it pink? Is it white? Is it gray? Is it brown? Plus noun. Okay, so this is our pattern. And um, my, so we could, let's see. Just some, let, let's do some help here. Or, okay, so um, opinion, right? So, so for example, opinion can be, um, oh, it's funny, right? Oh, I think it's funny. Maybe you don't. It's my opinion. Interesting. I think it's interesting. It's my opinion. Good. I think it's good. It's my opinion. Bad. I think it's bad. It's my opinion. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, mm, okay, terrible. I think it's terrible. It's my opinion. <laughs> okay, now, um, opinion, right? Size. Here's some example of some sizes. Size. Um, it's big. You know, it's big. It's giant. That's even larger, right? It's giant. Whoa, boy. It's giant. It's grand. Well, these are all big. It's big. It's giant. It's grand. It's fat. These are all big sizes. Okay, let's go some small sizes here. How about um, little? It's little. It's small. It's tiny. Okay, here are some sizes. Big, giant, Grand, fat, little, small, tiny, okay? And then color, right? Blue, purple, pink, blue, um, brown. Okay, now for some um, example sentences. Opinion, so I could say, um, okay, so I'm describing something, and so maybe a car, okay? So, I'll, I'll, so we're gonna describe is a car, and then we're going to start with it because it's a thing. It's, okay, it's a car, right? So let's go. And then my opinion, let's say it's a funny, I think it's a funny car. <laughs> it's a funny, small, pink car. Okay, so there we go. It's a funny small pink car. So I'm describing a car. What are you going to describe? I want to see your sentence. What, what noun, what thing are you going to describe? So in the chat, please um, describe something using this pattern, opinion. So it's what you think. It's your idea, like, oh, it's funny, it's interesting, right? I think it's funny. Maybe you don't, right? Size and then color. So my example is, it's a funny small pink car. How about you? Okay, Lolly is there. It's a mischievous short green goblin. Oh, mischievous. 
Okay. Ava says, it's a bad old blue car. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now, um, Ava, we don't have age right here, okay? So let's just, let's try this pattern, okay? I mean, you're, that's correct, Ava, you're correct. But l let's practice this pattern today. Opinion, size, color, noun. Tetsuro, it's, it's an exciting small blue book. Good. It's an exciting because you have the E vowel there. So the vowel sound, exciting, an exciting small blue book. Giorgio, hello. Mary, hello. Umesh, hello. Okay, so I didn't see some of you come in. Alice is here. Hello, Alice. Norka, hello. Nora, hello. Okay. I I was I had my back to the camera, so I didn't see you guys coming into the chat. Welcome, welcome everyone. Okay, Umesh says it's an interesting big yellow book. Okay, so a car, right? So um, if you want to go singular, so we could go plural, right? So a car, right? So how about um, we can, let's do something plural, more than one. So, um, okay, I'll stay with cars. Okay, cars. So now I'm not going to say it, I'm going to say they are. I'm going to say they are, um, they are, what's my opinion? They are, um, let's see, okay, they are um, fantastic. Okay, they are fantastic. Okay, they are fantastic, and then, um, let's see, size. Okay, um, big, big blue cars, okay? They are fantastic big blue cars, right? So here's plural, and here's singular, so it's, uh, right, so that's, one, and then they are is more than one. So it's a funny small pink car. They are fantastic big blue cars. So everyone be careful about um, singular and plural nouns there. Mary, hi Mary. Henna, hello. Henna says, Hannah says, it's a terrible big red bag. <laughs> okay, good one. Um, Umesh, it's an amazing big green tree house. Nice. Lolly, it's, okay, an ugly short black dog and old. Okay, good. So remember, okay, so be careful when you have the vowel sounds, right? So if your first, if your first adjective is a vowel, you need N, right? So Lolly, it's an ugly. Kim, hello Kim. It's a big red car. Good, Kim. Okay, Zach. It's an interesting small red car. So remember, we need the 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 ah there. But then interesting is an, a vowel, right? I is a vowel, so it's an interesting. Okay, Chikid. They are fantastic big blue cars. Good. Okay, Kim, they are fantastic big blue. Okay, cars. Okay, so they are, and that's for plural, more than one. Right, here's one car and here's a few cars, more than one. So more than one, they are one car, it's a. Okay, there's Ava. It's an interesting big white building. Very good, Ava. Nice sentence. Hannah, they are good small black pants. I like it. Good sentence. Oh no, Tetsuro, it's 
a disgusting giant green garbage or it's okay okay uncountable it's disgusting giant green garbage okay Tetsuro you're correct because garbage is uncountable so there's no there's no um ah uh, there so gar we can count cars one two three four five we can count cars so we use the the um the ah uh, there the um the the um what's it called ah uh, and the uh, they are called determiners maybe or articles articles there we go so um with with uncountable we don't use the article but with countable nouns we use articles so garbage is uncountable so there's no ah uh, there's no article so good sentence tetsuro let's see umesh they are wonderful wonderful wonderfully big black elephants i think you want to use wonderful they are wonderful big black elephants yeah there you go lolly and ugly good umesh it's danger okay um it's uh snakes umesh we can count so it's a dangerous long black snake ava it's a fantastic small colorful cake good one mary it's a beautiful blue car so you have your uh in the wrong position so mary it should be it's a beautiful blue car so you don't so the the um the article comes before the adjectives right so a pink car it's a pink car it's a small car so if we broke it down into just using one adjective let's say let's try that so we can say it's a funny car ho 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 it's a funny car right so it looks strange right it's a funny car it's a funny car it's a small car it's a pink car okay but now we can add more adjectives we can give more information right so let's do two adjectives it's a funny small car it's a funny small car it's a funny pink car it's a small pink car okay so we're doing two now it's a funny small car it's a small pink car right two if we just use it's a car okay so the 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 adjective comes after the ah uh, okay Okay, Bala, hello. Okay, good, Tetsuro. Alice, the shiny new racing car is opposite my house. Good. Okay, Abdul, hello. I spent my holidays in a beautiful, big, and golden hotel. Nice. Lucky you. Saima, it's a beautiful, big, white cat. Good, Kim. It's a funny blue umbrella. Good, 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 good. It's a funny car. That's right. It looks, it looks funny. <laughs> Maybe, do you know the French car called smart car? Those are funny looking cars, right? The, the smart car, I think, looks funny. <laughs> I think it's a French car. Lolly, maybe, am I, am I correct? Is um, the smart car, is that a French car? I think they look funny. Okay, let's see. Um, Umesh says, it's a frightening, big, colorful market. Henna, it's an amazing, small, red smartphone. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Lolly. Lolly says, you are wearing a beautiful brown, large shirt. Thank you, Lolly. That's right. It's a noisy, huge black speaker. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I like your sentences a lot. Okay, it's a great long gray sword, says Umesh. Okay, good. I think we're going to change activities now. You did good. I think everyone, okay, Lolly, yes, the smart car is a French car. And um, smart cars, very, very small, like, like just two people and 
right, or maybe just the driver, I don't know, but it's very short. It's, um, it's a very short car, and I think it looks funny. I, I, there, you see, sometimes I see them in Japan. And, wow, that's a funny car. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Air lady, hello, how are you? Mwah. Okay, let's change activities, all right? Now let's do, which one is different? Which one is different? Which one is different? Okay, and our topic is repairs, repairs. Okay, repairs. So repairs, like fixing something, right? So maybe your house, something is broken, and so you have to repair it, right? Or even it could be car, right? Your car, something is broken, and it needs to be repaired. So when something breaks, you repair it. And let's say even your computer, right? Something um, breaks on your computer, you take it to the shop and they will repair it. So <clears throat> repair, fix. Okay. So repair, fix. Which one is different? <clears throat> so if this is your first time, we do this every week. And if this is your first time, I'm going to give you a, a very simple example four things there's always four things and which one of the four is different so for example red blue bicycle pink which one is different yes bicycle is different because bicycle is transportation the other three are colors right so bicycle is different bicycle is transportation and the others are colors, all right? So that's what we're going to do. Okay, yeah, Air Lady, yeah, so I live in Japan, and so um, I always say um, Japan time because many people live in different countries. And so all you have to do is Google um, your time and Japan time. So if I say we're gonna start at 1 p.m. Japan time, what you do is you go to Google and you take, okay, if you live in America, right? You live in America, Michigan, right, Air Lady? So you go, okay, um, Japan time, 1 p.m., what time is it in Michigan, right? Or if you're in France, like Lolly, Lolly would put um, 1 p.m. Japan time, what time is it in France, right? And so then you get your time, all right? So I'm always going to say Japan time because I live in Japan <laughs> and everyone lives in different countries. So I, I don't know everybody's time zone, right? So I'm always going to just say Japan time, okay? So it's up to you to find out the time in your country. But it's really easy. You just Google it and you will see it very, very quickly. It will pop up there. Okay, which one is different? And it's a worksheet and I'm going to... Put it on the screen so everyone can see. Okay, everyone can see it on the screen. I'm gonna put it right up there. Okay, which one is different? And the topic is repairs. Here's the worksheet. And I'm gonna make it large. Yeah, I'm gonna make it big. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on, let me make it full screen here. Okay, I'm going to bring it down. We have group one keywords. Okay, here are group one keywords. We have a house, a gate, a wall, a cement mixer. One more time. A house, a gate, a wall, and a cement mixer. Which one is different and why? Which one is different and why? Of course, why is the most important part of this activity, right? Okay, that was quick. We got some answers here. Let me 
Hold on. I think because. That's our, our pattern there. Okay. Ava is on the board. A cement mixer because, oh, it has wheels. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Ava says, a cement mixer because it has wheels. Very good, Ava. Lolly says, a house because a family can live in it. That's right. Oh no, yeah, Air Lady, um, you'll remember, you could remember. <laughs> hmm, Ava, a gate because it protects our house. Yeah, a gate protects our house. Lolly says, a wall because there is no A in it. Yeah, gate has an A, wall has an A. Oh, cement mixer. Oh, ah, cement. No ah in cement mixer, Lolly. Cement mixer, there's no A. So try again. Okay, Kim, the important thing is because, right? So that's the most important part, because. So you have to tell me why you think it doesn't belong. Okay? So that's... Very important. Okay, group one keywords, a house, a gate, a wall, a cement mixer. Which one is different? Okay, Chiquit, a cement mixer because it can move and it's not a house thing. Okay, good. Ava, a house because it has many windows and doors. Good, see lots of answers, no wrong answer. Umesh, a gate because we need to watch, we need watch to look at. The okay, Umesh, I'm not sure your sentence. A gate because we need men to look at the, I'm not sure, one more time, Umesh. Lolly says a cement mixer because you can build a house, gate, and wall with it. Nice, I like it. Oh, hot. How are you doing? Papise, how are you? Tetsuro says, a house because it has a chimney. Good. Henna says, a cement mixer because it is not a result. It's a tool. Okay. Or you can say, it's not a finish. It's not finished. Or it, uh, it's not a result. So I know what you mean. It's not a, it's not a, it's not something that has been built. How about that? Because it has not been built, right? So a wall, you need to build a wall. You need to build a gate. You need to build a, a house, but um, not a cement mixer. Okay, Air Lady says, a gate because in USA, it doesn't have, oh, you don't. Okay, so um, Air Lady, a gate because we don't have any we don't have any oh okay no problem okay lolly says there's no e in wall okay there is a e in house there is an e in gate there is a there's three e's in cement mixer but no e's in in wall very good lolly okay kim i think a cement mixer because it's not it's not Okay, so it's not built, or it's not, it's, it's, it's for building things, right? So it's for building things. So the others are already built, right? So a house, the purpose, right? So the, for the cement mixer, the purpose is building, right? Using, you use a, a cement mixer to build things. But a wall is something you build. A gate is something you build. A house is something you build. A cement mixer is something you, you build things with. Okay, Airlady, a wall, because in the United States, we don't have one. We don't have one. 
Okay, hello, Yega. Ava, a wall because it separates two things. Good, good, Ava. Umesh, I think, oh, okay, we're not, okay, I think, to open or close the, oh, a watchman. Oh, okay, a, or a guard, Umesh. Yeah, maybe like a guard. That's better. So a, so a, a gate needs a guard to open and close it. That's good, Umesh. Okay, yeah, um, Air Lady, a gate because we don't have one. I'm going to write that in the chat for you. So um, a gate because we don't have one. Okay, there you go, Air Lady. Okay, let's see. Lolly says a cement mixer because it needs power to work. Good. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So there's a motor that turns the, the cement. And so um, you, need, you need electric power. Very good. Okay. Um, Linda, I think a cement mixer because it is an instrument to build and not a final product like the others. Good, Linda. Or Lydia, sorry, Lydia. Lydia, I'm very sorry, I, mi I, I, I misread your name, it's Lydia. Okay, good, good sentence, Lydia. Alice, I think a wall is different because it can, oh, okay, I see, Alice, I think a wall is different because we can. Not it, people can, right? We can hang things on the wall, right? So it, we don't say it, we say we because people do it, right? People hang the picture. So Alice, I think a wall is different because we can hang pictures on it. We can hang pictures on it. You're welcome, Air Lady. Okay, Alice, we can hang pictures on it. Umesh, a gate because we can jump it. Yes. That's right. Kids like jumping gates. Yega, cement, which is a building material. Very good. Nora, hello. Nora, Nora. Nora, the gate because it is not made of cement. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it's made of good, good one. I like it, Nora. Um, so a gate is usually made with metal, right? But a house is made with cement, a wall is made with cement, and of course, the, the, there's cement in the cement mixer. Good, Nora, I like it. Air Lady, it's no problem. No problem, you don't have to say thank you. Okay, Yega, a wall is made of cement and cubes, or bricks, bricks, bricks and concrete, or blocks, blocks, concrete blocks. So, so a wall, there's, you, walls are usually made with, or built with bricks or cement blocks, or concrete blocks. Okay, let's go to group two. Group two keywords. Here we go. A repairman, a drill, a dump truck, a level. Which one is different and why? One more time. A repairman, a drill, a dump truck, a level. Which one is different and why? Okay, Alice, I think she fixed her sentence. I think a wall is different because we can hang the picture on the wall. Very good, Alice. Saima, cement mixer, because it makes walls, houses, and gate foundation also. 
Umesh, a house because it has, oh, a house because it is necessary to live. Or, okay, Umesh, let's see. A house because it is, a house because it's necessary for us to live. Yeah, so, yeah, we need a house to live, <laughs> to live comfortably, right? I mean, you could live in a cave, I guess. You can live in a tent, you know, like way back a long, 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 long time ago, Native Americans lived in teepees. Um, people lived in caves. So, so I, I guess like um, a house because it, it can um, make our life um, pleasurable or, or pleasant. Right, a house because it can make our our life enjoyable. A house because it makes our life enjoyable. How about that? Okay. Oh, Lydia, I think a cement mixer because it can be transported. I like it. Yeah. Good. Yega, made with blocks. Good. Okay, Lolly, a gate because it protects us or protects you from intruders. Good. A gate because it protects you from intruders. Yes, that's the purpose. Ava, a drill because it uses electricity. It uses electricity. Good, Ava. Lolly, a, a repairman because he is a human being. <laughs> Good. Ava, a dump truck because it has four wheels. It has four wheels. Okay, Tetsuro, question, what is a level? Okay, I'm going to tell you a good question. A level is there's, if, you, if you're hanging something, you're measuring something, and you want it to be straight, and a level will let you know if it is straight and so let's say we want this to be straight and then you need a level and so it's it's a tool it goes there it goes on top and then there is a um oh i don't know what you call this but um let's see okay i need some space right here okay so a level it's like a, it's almost kind of like a, a ruler. It's not a ruler, but it kind of looks like one. And right here, there is kind of a, a liquid, and and then there's a, th there's there's an opening, or it, this is liquid. I don't know how to explain it. And there is a. Like like a, a um, oh gosh, oh gosh, I can't talk, I can't, there is a mechanism, a thing, and if it's crooked, this will move one way, so if, if, if you're, let's say your picture, you want to hang a picture on a wall, and you want it to be straight, you take the level, and you put on top, right? And if this is in the center, then it's straight. If it's crooked, then this is gonna move off center. So you want, the level tells you if it's center. So th this thing right here, if it moves, if it moves this way, then you, uh oh, it's not center, you have to go, then you have to, then you have to like turn it a little bit, right? And so you, you keep turning until the level is centered and then you know whatever you're hanging is straight, right? And so um, you want, if you're building things, you want it to be straight. You want everything to be straight. So you leave, you use a level, you use a level to keep what you're building straight, right? All your lines, it'll keep all your lines straight. 
It's difficult to explain. It's easier to show you, right? I'm sure you have a level in your house, maybe. I don't know the Japanese name for level, but、um, I have a level. If you, if you do any, you should, everyone should have a level. <laughs> That way, if you're hanging a picture, you know if it's straight. Okay. That's, that's difficult to explain. Okay, Alice, I think a dump truck is different because it needs a person to control. Okay, Alice, a person, not people. People, whoop, people is plural. Person, people. Person, people. So, Alice, you have a, so you need person, a person. Yeah, there you go, Lolly. A level is mandatory if you want to build straight walls. Yeah, you just need a two there, to build. If you want to build. Good sentence. And, and actually, <clears throat> Lolly, that is 100% correct. A level is mandatory if you want to build straight walls. Ava. A repairman because I have one at home. My husband always、um, repairs everything. You are lucky. Your man is a handyman. Very good, Ava. Ava's man is a handyman. <laughs>、um, okay, Abdul, a little bit different. Sea level, yeah. I mean, that's correct, but. The name of that tool is called a level. Yeah, there you go, Lolly, to build. Okay, Chi Kid, a repairman because it's a job and maybe the re repairman can move a person. Okay, Alice, I think a dump truck is different because it needs a person to control it. Yeah, it's good, Alice. All right, well, I think it's time we change. We need to change. Okay, let, let's. Okay, Hannah, a dump truck because a repairman cannot bring it. Okay,、uh, Nora Garcia, Miss Garcia. I think the dump truck because it is for construction. Good, Tetsuro, a dump truck. Because it can carry a big load, a big load, or heavy load. That's better, Tetsuro. Heavy load. I like that sentence. One more time, Tetsuro. A dump truck because it can carry a heavy load, a heavy load. Lolly, a dump truck because you can carry materials with it. Okay, let's, let's change. Good job, everyone. Good job. And you can get my, my worksheets. If you join my Patreon page, you can get all these worksheets. Also, I have a website, markkulik.com, with, with, with worksheets. Okay? So、um, join my Patreon. Help me so I can help you. Support me so I can support you. Yeah? And right in my Patreon, on my Patreon page. You will see many, many worksheets. If you support me on Patreon, you can get lots of worksheets. Okay, let's change our activity, shall we? Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, Mary, yes, I think the level because it has liquid. Yeah, so right here is liquid, inside is liquid. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Air Lady. I didn't see your sentence. Let me go back. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, Air Lady. I, I, okay, here's your sentence. A level because it is very useful when someone is building. Good, good. So, when someone is building. That's a good sentence. You just need when someone is building.、Uh, I'll write that in the chat. When. Someone 
is building. So that's good. You just need the when someone is building. Very good. Okay. Let's go to our... Okay, we're going to our next activity, and that is a worksheet and sentences done by the green team. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to put the worksheet up. I'm gonna put it up here so you can see it. And we're gonna talk about um, our idiom today is keep an eye on. So three is idiom. And keep an eye on. Keep an eye on. Okay, so that's our, it's a worksheet about the idiom, keep an eye on. And the sentences were done by the green team. So let's have a look right here. Okay, let me make it larger, larger. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so keep an eye on, and that means to guard, keep under careful observation. Keep under careful observation. All right, so here are the people. So Sonara's sentence is, Honey, could you keep an eye on the pot on the fire? One more time. Honey. Could you keep an eye on the pot on the fire? Miley's sentence is, keep an eye on the body language of the listeners. They are bored. Keep an eye on the body language of the listeners. They are bored. Fabricio, I'm keeping an eye on the clouds to see if it's going to rain. I'm keeping an eye on the clouds to see if it's going to rain. Lolly, could you keep an eye on my little brother while I go shopping? Could you keep an eye on my little brother while I go shopping? Rita, keep an eye on the clock. Time is flying. Keep an eye on the clock. Time is flying. Mark, could you keep an eye on my bag while I go to the restroom? Could you keep an eye on my bag while I go to the restroom? Tomas, if you travel on public transportation, keep an eye on your bag. If you travel on public transportation, keep an eye on your bag. Marion, keep an eye on him so he doesn't run away. Keep an eye on him so he doesn't run away. All right, so Sonara, Sonara, um, honey, honey, that's um, like somebody you, you love. Maybe it's your girlfriend or your boyfriend, husband or wife. And so that's kind of a pet name. That's a romantic name. Honey, I'm home, honey, right? And so it's, Someone, maybe you call your wife honey or you call your husband honey. So Sonara says, honey, could you keep an eye on the pot on the fire? So maybe in the kitchen, you know, there's, there's something cooking in the kitchen and Sonara needs to like go and get the phone or something or need to go to the door. And she tells her husband, honey, could you keep an eye on the pot on the fire? Right. So can you have a look, make, you know. Uh, make sure it, it doesn't boil over. Make sure it doesn't burn. Okay. Yeah, Lolly. Honey, sweetie, my heart. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, Miley, keep an eye on the body language of the listeners. They are bored. Okay. So, so this is very important if you're a teacher, right? And... Um, Body language, so that means not spoken, but just how the body, someone moves. So if they're going like this, right, that's body language. Like that's somebody bored, right? Or, and then like this, someone, you know, maybe they're angry. You know, they cross their arms. 
So body language or right? They're like, woohoo, I'm happy, right? And so if you're happy, you put your hands up, that's body language. If you're angry, you cross your arms. If you're bored, maybe you put your chin or you put your, your hand under your chin or on, on your face. That means you're bored. Yeah. So um, keep an eye on the body language, right? So if you're a teacher, you know, make sure, you know, of course, you know, listen to the students, but also um, look at the body language. Um, get, get, get hints, get ideas, you know, get, get feedback from the student's body language. Okay, Fabricio, I'm keeping an eye on the clouds to see if it's going to rain, right? So I'm keeping an eye on the clouds, so if, if, if they get darker, or if there's more clouds, oh, I need to get an umbrella because it's going to rain. So keep an eye on the clouds. Um, Lolly says, could you keep an eye on my little brother while I go shopping, right? So um, maybe that's like babysit, right? So please, um, can, you, can you watch my little brother? I wanna um, go buy some food for dinner, right? I need to go shopping for dinner. Can you keep an eye on my little brother? Can you watch my little brother? Can you babysit my little brother? Oh, Air Lady, same time Saturday. So um, Air Lady asked me, Mark, um, what time tomorrow, your live stream? 10 a.m. tomorrow, Japan time. 10 a.m. Japan time tomorrow, Saturday. April 23rd. Okay, uh, Rita, keep an eye on the clock. Time is flying. <laughs> so, so keep an eye, mate. So maybe in this situation, we're having fun, but be careful of the time, right? Because um, it can't be, you know, we have, we have to go. So there, we have to catch the bus. We have to um, make dinner. So we're having fun. Time is going very quickly, but we got to keep an eye on the clock because we have to finish at five, right? We have to finish at five. So keep an eye on the clock because um, we're having fun and time is flying. So keep an eye on the clock. Make sure we don't go over time. Um, Mark says, could you keep an eye on my bag while I go to the restroom? Right? So. Let, you know, let's say you're at the shopping mall and you have some bags and you want to use the restroom. You want to go to the toilet, but you don't want to take your bags in the toilet. You don't want to take your bags in the restroom. So you ask your friend or you ask your, your family, oh, can you keep an eye on my bags? Because I'm going to go to the restroom, right? So please watch my bags. Make sure no one takes my bags. Okay. Um, Tomas, if you travel on a public transportation, keep an eye on your bag, right? So if you take public transportation, bus, train, uh, bus, train, subway, airplane, uh, trolley, right? So let's say you have lots of bags, you know, Keep an eye on your bag, right? So watch your bags so no one takes your bags. That's good advice. Uh, Marion says, keep an eye on him so he doesn't run away. <laughs> so maybe it's a, like a little kid, right? And so you always have to be watching little kids because if you don't watch them, they'll run away, right? So, so kids aren't thinking, like they, they, they change their mind very quickly. So maybe they're with you, but they see something interesting and they want to go to it, right? So they're not thinking of danger. They're not thinking about anything but that one thing they want to check out or they want to grab. So you got to watch the kids. You got to keep an eye on the kids. <laughs> okay, good job. That was the green team right here. You can see the green team. Yeah, the green team. Okay, now I want you in the chat to write sentences using keep an eye on, okay? 
Keep an eye on. Thank you, Air Lady. Mwah. Air Lady loves my live stream classes. Thank you, Air Lady. All right, so let's. I want to see your sentences. Keep an eye on. Okay. Let's see your sentences. Keep an eye on. Thank you, Air Lady. Okay, Saima has a sentence. Okay, I didn't see those. Let's see, some of you already started doing it. Saima, um, when a baby is sick, a mother keeps her eye on her baby. So, okay, um, Saima, when a baby is sick, um, the mother keeps an eye on her baby. Umesh, could you please keep an eye on the score? Very good. Right, so maybe like a basketball game because basketball, the score keeps changing, right? So um, where, where soccer or football, it's very, the score doesn't change. <laughs> Not much, it doesn't change much. So maybe in a soccer match or a football match, you don't need to keep an eye on the score too much. But for example, in basketball, you know, the, the score keeps changing very quickly. So keep an eye on the score. Oh, okay, Air Lady. Keep your eyes on Mark's live stream. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you, Air Lady. Good one. Keep your eyes on Mark's live stream. Thank you, Air Lady. Nice sentence. Okay. Uh, Yega, keep an eye on the controls. Okay, so we want keep an eye on, keep an eye. I'm going to write it larger. So that's, you need that in your sentence. I'm going to write it larger. Keep an eye on. So that, that needs to be in your sentence. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, so Yega, keep an eye on the controls. Keep, keep your eye on the controls. That's a good sentence right there. Keep your eye on the controls. Lolly says, parents have to keep an eye on their kids. Okay, parents, their kids. Okay, Lolly? Parents have to keep an eye on their kids. T H E I R. Okay, Miss Garcia. Miss Garcia. Good night, Miss Garcia. Mwah. Umesh, can you keep an eye on the speed of the car? Or, okay, Umesh, can you keep an eye on the speed? Or, keep an eye on your speed. <laughs> keep an eye on the speed. Alice, could you keep an eye on my phone, please? Good. Oscar, can anyone tell me where's this guy from? He does not read my comments. Oscar, I'm sorry. I didn't see, Oscar, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oscar, I'm from Los Angeles, California, but I live in Japan. I'm sorry, Oscar. Um, sometimes I don't see everyone's sentences because I'm looking different places, right? I'm looking at the board or, you know. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Oscar. I am from Los Angeles, California, but I am now living in Japan. Lama, please keep an eye on my baby while I go to the bathroom. Lama, one more time. Keep an eye on my baby while I go to the bathroom. Tijuana, hello. Hola, como esta usted? 
¿Qué pasa? <laughs> I've been to Tijuana many times. I like Tijuana. TJ, I like TJ. I also go to um, Ensenada. I like Ensenada and uh, Tijuana very much. But now I live in Japan. I haven't been to Tijuana in a long time. Okay, Eva, could you keep an eye on my house? We, we're going on holiday. We are going on holiday. Umesh, keep an eye on the milk. It's boiling over. Good. Lolly, women have to keep an eye on their husbands. <laughs> How about vice versa? Husbands need to keep an eye on their wives. How about that, Lolly? Husbands need to keep an eye on their wives. Tetsuro, could you please keep an eye on my luggage? Not to be stolen. You don't have to say, Tetsuro, you don't need to say not to be stolen. So you should just say, could you keep an eye on my luggage? That's a good sentence. And that's what you should say if you ask someone to do that. So don't say, don't say not to be stolen. I mean, that's, of course, that's why you're asking them not to keep, that's why you're asking them to keep an eye on your bags so they won't become stolen, but you don't have to say that. I want to keep an eye on my child. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on my child. Keep an eye on our mom. Okay, Ava, one more time. I'm not sure. Change your sentence, please. Henne. Keep an eye on your baggage at the airport. Yes. Umesh, keep an eye on students. They are smoking. Oh, no smoking at school. Okay, what is your question, Kina? Oscar, you're welcome. Thank you, Yega. Hello from Japan. Tetsuro, keep an eye on his performance to boost your skill. <laughs> What's your question? Kenatin, Kenatin, what is your question? Okay, Chi Kid, hello, Vietnam. Yeah, good, Ava. We are going on holiday. Perfect. Okay, Alice, sorry, I want to keep an eye on my baggage so I can't help you. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I wanna keep an eye on my baggage so I can't help you, that's good. So someone's asking you to do something and you say, oh, I, I can't leave, I need to keep an eye on my baggage. Good one. <laughs> Lolly, yeah, so it goes both ways, right? Oscar, keep an eye on your girlfriend. I think she is cheating on you. Uh-oh. Better keep an eye on her. She's wild. Yeah, okay, so everyone, so keep an eye on means, so it won't be that to someone, right? So let, let's say you're, you're somewhere and um, you have to do something real quick and you're by yourself, right? And you have, let's say for example, you're at the airport and you're by yourself and you have many bags. So you can't move the bags, like you, you can't take them with you maybe to the, to the restroom. So you ask someone, can you keep an eye on my bags? So that means watch them so they won't be stolen. If you said, oh, can you keep an eye on my bags so they don't get stolen? That sounds kind of rude, you know, that, 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 that's not, um, a very good way to say it. So you should just say, oh, can you keep an eye on my bags? And that means that so they won't be stolen is implied, meaning that's what the sentence means. So um, you don't have to say that. Oh, Umesh. Umesh says, keep an eye on your weight. You're looking fat. <laughs> You're looking fat. Keep an eye on your way. You are looking fat. Oh, no. 
Oh, Ava says, keep an eye on yourself, please. So another like, um, be careful. Don't drink too much, right? Like maybe Ava tells her husband, keep an eye on yourself. <laughs> like, so keep an eye on yourself, right? That's a good expression, Ava. So of course we're talking, oh, ask someone, can you keep an eye on my bag, right? But then Ava told her husband, keep an eye on yourself. Meaning, be careful. Don't drink too much. Don't get in trouble, right? Be, be a good person. Um, stay safe. Um, don't, don't, don't cause trouble. Don't hurt yourself. Keep an eye on yourself. Stay safe. Good, good, Ava. Okay, good job. Let's change activities, okay? And actually, I'm going to... This worksheet, I will, after today's lesson, I will put it on my um, community page, okay? So I will, this worksheet, it, it's not there yet. When I finish today, I will take this worksheet and I will upload it to my YouTube homepage and um, under community, if you go there, you will see this worksheet and you can... Um, at the bottom, you can make your own sentences. See right there? So here at the top, you, there's example sentences, right? Examples right there from the green team. And then underneath, you could write your own sentences. You could practice by yourself in your home. So after today's lesson, I will put it on my YouTube homepage under communities, okay? So that's good for now. Good job, everyone. So let's say, for now, goodbye worksheet. And let's see, it's gone. Okay, let's, okay, now we're gonna do a video, 10 very short conversations. So number, we're gonna do four today. 10 very short conversations. Okay, so it's a video. We're going to practice some videos today. Here we go. Yega, um, what, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, here we go. So, Yega, what, what do you mean from my book? Is this, is this what you mean? These conversations? Yega, is that what you mean? Okay, let's look at the video. Oh, wait, wait, Lolly. Oh, I see now. Okay, hold on real quick. Uh, Lolly, bosses always keep an eye on their employees. Yes. <laughs> That's why I don't like a boss. I don't want a boss. I don't want bosses to keep an eye on me. Okay, Lolly, another one. Sue, keep an eye on Joe to prevent him to spend too much money. Good, good. Good sentences, Lolly. Sue, keep an eye. No, oh, 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 I see. Sue keeps an eye on Joe to prevent him to spend too much money. Good, good, Lolly. Good, 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 good. Oh, how can I get the books? Ten very short conversations. Yes, you can get the books. Yep, 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 yep. That would be fantastic. They are Amazon.com. There's a link to them to be under, so at Amazon.com. 50 Very Short Conversations, Mark Kulik, yeah, so, um, yeah, okay, there's links to the books under the video. Oh, okay, Yega, on Tuesday we do dictation cards. On Tuesday we do dictation cards, Shadowing Tuesday. Okay, let's look at the 
conversations here. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's practice together. Here we go. The doctor will see you soon. The doctor, you're welcome, Lolly. The doctor will see you soon. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, nurse. The doctor will see you soon. Thank you, nurse. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We have the best lunch in town. We have the best lunch in town. We have the best lunch in town. I'm hungry. We have the best lunch in town. What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? I got a frog. I got a frog. I got a frog. What did you get? I got a frog. Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? In my lower back. In my lower back. In my lower back. Where does it hurt? In my lower back. I'm looking for a mystery. I'm looking for a mystery. I'm looking for a mystery. They are on aisle four. They are on aisle four. They are tasty, isn't it? I know tasty, isn't it? This is really good. I know tasty, isn't it? Can you use chopsticks? Can you use chopsticks? Can you use chopsticks? Can you use chopsticks? Heck no. Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> Can you use chopsticks? Heck no. Uh, okay, um, Gladiator. Okay, real quick. That's a good question. So Gladiator asks, um, what is the difference between house and home so house is like a building right like a house right oh that's a house so any any building right and then home is like your house like oh this is my home that's my neighbor's house so your house is your home oh this is my home and another like someone else's home is a house right so there are five houses on my street. This is my home. Okay? So that's the difference. Not much difference. It doesn't matter. You can say home or house. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's continue. Can you use chopsticks? Heck no. Who's got a double scoop? Who's got a double scoop? Who's got a double scoop. Really, Lolly? Lolly says, I've never used chopsticks. Really? That's interesting. That's interesting, Lolly. Who's got a double scoop? Whoops. I do. I do. I do. Who's got a double scoop? I do. I need concentration. I need concentration. I need concentration. Quiet everyone. Quiet everyone. Quiet everyone. I need concentration. Quiet everyone. Yeah. That's right, gladiator. Okay, here we go. Need a taxi? Need a taxi? Need a taxi? Need a taxi? 
No, I'm taking the subway. No, I'm taking the subway. No, I'm taking the subway. Need a taxi? No, I'm taking the subway. Okay, now let's roll the video. Okay, we're going to do it together now. Here we go. We're going to roll the video now. Now it's your turn. I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And you will go second. You will be the blue sentences. The doctor will see you soon. I'm hungry. What did you get? Where does it hurt? I'm looking for a mystery. This is really good. Can you use chopsticks? Lolly and Ava. <laughs> Who's got a double scoop? I need concentration. Need a taxi. Good, Lolly. <laughs> Let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences. And I will go second. I will be the blue sentences. Thank you, nurse. We have the best lunch in town. I can teach you, Ava. I got a frog. In my lower back. Bye, Mary. They are on aisle four. Okay, Mary, take it easy. I know, tasty, isn't it? Heck no, <laughs> heck no, heck no. I do. Quiet everyone.
No, I'm taking the subway. Okay, yes, yes, we did it, everyone. Good, good, good. Okay, 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 all right. <laughs> so we have some people who can't use chopsticks. I can, I can teach you real quick, okay? So um, let, let's do a little chopstick. Let's do a little chopstick lesson. So um, I got one pencil. I need another pencil right over here. Okay, I got two pencils, and I'm going to teach everyone how to use chopsticks, okay? So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put one pencil in my right hand, and here's my thumb and forefinger, okay? Pointy, pointing finger, pointer finger, forefinger, okay? And so I'm going to put like that, okay? So here's the first one. And this isn't going to move, right? So this stays in this position. Then I'm going to take the other and put that on top. And so this is going to stay here. And then I'm just going to move the top one up and down. Okay? And so that's, that's it. And so you, um, I can pick up anything. So let me, hold on, let me get some things to pick up. Uh, all right, hold on. Okay, I got an eraser here. Okay, so let's say, for example, there's some food, and I'll put it on my hand. So what I'm going to do is just go. So the, only the only the top is moving, and so I'm going to go like that. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> Let me go the other way. It'll easier this way. Okay, so there we go. So only the top is moving, and now here's here's an eraser, and I could just go like that. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. And you could just, well, and it's very right, and so it's easy. Yeah, so you just go up and down. Dun, 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 dun. See, gong, 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 gong. Oh boy! <laughs> so just just go like that. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. They're chopsticks, easy, right? And you just go boop, boop. And um, chopsticks are really easy like, for salad. Chops, chopsticks are great to eat with salad, right? So like lettuce and tomatoes and, right? Super easy, yeah, yeah. You can do it, everyone. So just try. So it's fun. It's fun using chopsticks. It's fun, yeah? See, okay. Give you a better... So what I'm doing, I'm just, so this isn't moving, only, only this is going up and down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So very, very easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. So Lolly has two pens. <laughs> uh, Jaeger likes a fork, yeah. But some things like, like for salad, I think chopsticks are easy. Pasta, eating pasta, chopsticks very, yeah, chopsticks, easy to use. And um, anyways, it's fun too, it's fun. Okay, thank you everyone. We did the four, convert, or we did the four activities. One, two, three, four, good job. Rice, yes, rice, chopsticks, very easy. But um, Saima, Japanese rice is a little sticky. So it, it, it's easy eating rice with chopsticks. Be, with Japanese rice, it's sticky. Where like Spanish rice, you, you can't eat, use chopsticks. And like rice pilaf, you can't use chopsticks. So, but Japanese rice is sticky, and so it's not a problem. Yeah, Ava, you should try. It's fun. It's fun using chopsticks, Ava. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. Tetsuro, thank you. <laughs> um, I will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Japan time. 10 a.m. Japan time tomorrow, which is April 23rd. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, peace and love. And everyone, take care of yourself. And please um, pray 
for peace and love in the world, okay? So please do that. I will be back tomorrow. And, oh, thank you, Lolly. Lolly says, join the Friendly Green Team. Yes, please do that. Um, help me so I can help you. Support me so I can support you. Join the Green Team. Your name will be in green. You can be part of the great people in the Green Team. Yes, so do that. You get uh, special emojis. And I um, also have a website with, um, with worksheets and flashcards that go with my video. Patreon is another way to help me so I can help you. So anyways, I will be back tomorrow. And um, yes, yes, gosh, yes. Okay, peace and love for everyone, yes. Peace and love for everyone. Peace and love for you. Peace and love for your family. Peace and love for the world. Mwah. Okay, let's say goodbye. Let's count down. Here we go. Five. Yes, Lama. Thank you, Lama. Mwah. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Lama. I will be back tomorrow for you. Yeah, Lama. Okay, great. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Everyone, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.